here we go. We're at day one for weight loss. So I decided 75 pounds will be my ultimate goal. Uh, if I can hit 100, fabulous. So I'm going to shoot for 75. I think I will do it in 25. Because, you know, 10 pounds is usually super, I don't want to say super easy, but fairly easy to lose. Just cutting your caloric intake will drop you quite heavily, quite quickly that first week or so. Um, I think last time when I hit 30 pounds, I kind of plateaued for a little bit. And you'll find this when you lose weight. And I stayed there, say, for, oh gosh, four days. And then I started going again. And then it would plateau at 40 pounds. And then it would plateau again. So you will find that as you lose weight. So don't get discouraged. Your body is just changing up things. Uh, I wanted to show you. So this was what I normally use for a... Um, a log, a food log. It's lightweight. I like this size and I like the spiral. I'll show you what I've got here. And then since I'm using a notebook, I've just clipped. So this is kind of what I did in January. I'm going to show you. I like color, so I was throwing some colors. So it was sunny out. I went to the gym in the morning. I, sometimes I was going to the gym, so I'd get up go right away. Uh, I didn't... I don't know. I think in the summer I might do that again. I'm not sure. But I'm liking going after work versus before work. Then I wrote what I did. And then I had a, I had a granola bar and water before gym. And that was 190 calories. So I circle a meal or a, like I had a granola bar and water. That was 190 calories. So I circled it. My breakfast was maybe 300. I circled it. So then I know when I add up stuff later, then I can carry on and go, oh, yep, I had 2,500 calories today or what have you. So you can see at 8.30, I had two pieces of toast uh, because it was regular bread. That's 220 calories. Uh, I can't, this is backwards to me. I know it's not to you. No, yogurt is 90 calories. I'm not sure what else I got there. Probably a couple eggs. Yeah, for because uh, eggs are 90 calories. And then so on. And that went then... Um, I don't know why I worked that, but two more work days, then I'm off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Woohoo. <laughs> I don't know why. But that's okay. Something to be excited about, something to look forward to. Let me find another day. Here's Sunday. So I keep track. No gym. Uh, this is just a real. And I use both pages. So I can scribble all I want. So that day I had 2,360 calories, it looks like. So I was doing pretty good logging my food. And then at the bottom, normally I would go water and then I would just keep a tick list for every eight ounces I drank. And I also gym. Did I go to the gym? What did I do? Uh, because you, uh, my work, uh, not my work, my insurance through work, if you go to the gym so many times a month, they'll pay uh, $20 for your gym membership. I found a gym that had all the features I wanted. And I pay $50 annual fee and then I pay $20 a month. So my... Health insurance pays for my gym membership, not the annual, but my monthly fee, as long as I go enough times. And so that's worked out really well. It also is an incentive to go, so you don't have to pay. So what happens is the gym takes the money out of my account to pay for my membership, then the insurance, uh, should I complete how many days I have to go, well then uh, let me know, yep, you did a great job, and they'll deposit the $20 back into my account. Here's another protein bar. Oh, this is another one. A lot of work have scales because a lot of people are trying to lose weight. So then I know where I weigh myself. So I weighed at work, I had full clothes on. Uh, it was 264.4 uh, at 9 a.m. Uh, I don't know that I probably would have eaten something by then. And I certainly would have drank water. I try to drink water. As soon as I get up, I start drinking water. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I do. And then here I just, I kind of dropped off. It looks like January 13th was the last day I started logging. So I was doing fairly well. Start of the year and then fell off. And so that's that. So I will switch from this to this one that I showed you in my Walmart haul. I'm going to try a bigger one. And I think I'm going to start bringing it to the gym. I'm not quite sure. So what I have so far, I like color. So I'm going to dig out my colored pens. So I have, because I just started writing it, 
Normally I write as I go, so I don't forget. Uh, so, and I write the date, what day of the week it is, because that's sometimes helpful, because Saturday I generally is my free day, so then I probably won't even log on Saturday. I'll just write Saturday free day. Um, doesn't mean you can go hog wild, but it's kind of, if I want to go out and have dinner, I'm gonna. So I got up later, because I hung out in bed and just kind of watched videos and hung out with Gwen. Uh, but then I had a protein bar before I went to the gym and I forgot my water in the car so I bought a Powerade at the gym. Normally I would have water at the gym. And then after working out I had the EAS protein drink. And then that's all I had all morning until just uh, about 3.30 then we had some prime rib. I have to look that up. Uh, I'm not even sure of the weight because I didn't weigh it to see how much it was. And I had two red potatoes and I don't recall how much potatoes are so I had to look those up. And then I had a little bit of butter but see I, I measure and I had a tablespoon not even but I still it was close. Anyway salt and pepper and water. Normally I don't put water there. Uh, I put water on page two. Then so I just keep a tick, let go. tick risk going for water like I mentioned. Did I go to the gym? Did I tan? What did I do today? And it also helps because you have, to, like I say, you have to keep, you have to get so many days in for your insurance to pay for your gym membership. So I, I want to keep track as to how many days. And I'm not sure if it's like February 1st or February 28th or if it's from the time that my gym membership gets pulled, you know, from that day of the month to that day of the month, like 15th to the 15th. I don't know. I usually go enough anyway. There's been a couple times that last year where I couldn't go. Um, so I had one of these. That was after the gym. So that was good. This is the Powerade. The berry one. I didn't quite finish it. I thought, boy, this is good. Now, if I could find a zero calorie one, because I don't want to drink this. But I thought, I sweat so bad. I, they call it hyperhidrosis. Yay for a girl to have this. Um. I sweat terribly and so I lose a lot of electrolytes so this would be very good I feel to drink at the gym I don't know so I'm gonna talk to my doctor about that and because uh, I have to let him know now that I've decided on my goal and how much uh, so am I gonna do 2,500 calories a day uh, what calorie goal am I gonna set so I'm gonna talk to him about that stuff and then we'll get this moving uh, so then my first goal though will be 25 pounds so 25 pounds, I have a couple ideas of what I'd like to get once I achieve that goal, and then we'll go from there. Um, so as you're losing weight, say, no, I'm gonna, 75 is gonna be my, my ultimate goal. 100 will be a super target, but 75 is gonna be my target. But break that into goals, smaller goals, so you're not just going, oh my gosh, it's so hard to get 75 pounds, because it is gonna be hard. Uh, but I am psyched, I'm glad I'm gonna do this. Hi Gwen, and yeah, so stay tuned. I'm not sure how often I'm going to record or check in, but today is day one and I'm so excited and we're going to do this hopefully together. We can chat about stuff and let me know your comments below uh, what you do for your motivation. Gwenny's just right below the chair here and yeah, she's just being silly. So yeah, let me know what you do for motivation. What keeps you going? What do you do for goals? And I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.